Welcome to the Folk Music Academy. My name is Maija Kauhanen and I come from Finland, Helsinki, and I'm a kantele player. For me, the music is, like I said, I see a lot of visual things and I, or then I kind of open a window, open the door to some kind of magical forest. The interesting thing with Kantala is that we have many sizes of that instrument. So you can find from the course some really basic playing techniques for 5-string Kantala, 15-string Kantala and then Saarijärven Kantala. And of course really high-level Saarijärven Kantala playing and some new techniques and also really nice acoustic effects you can do with Kantala. Two pins and the string, steel string between them. So it's always one note per one string. Yeah, the smallest one is a five string kantale. And then the biggest kantale is about 40 string full chromatic concert kantale. But in this course, I'll focus to this kind of smaller instruments, which are diatonic. Because I'm playing a national instrument, how much am I a kind of cantale artist and just musician and I, I just play the music I love. What is the balance between traditional music and my own music? Because I love both. I also love these cantale tunes. If I find a traditional tune I love, then I make my own version. I lost my one finger when I was one year old and that affected so that when I wanted to apply to a music school then they said uh, to me the kantale would be a nice instrument. And then I found Saarjärven kantale which was a kind of major point in my musical journey because then I found a kantale type I can also play really roughly and loud. Like, I feel it's really inspiring to work with my dad who is building my instruments because he never says, no, you can't have it or I can't do it. He, he always says that, oh, okay, let's think about it, let's try. Yeah, when I was younger, there was no touring kantale artists. There was no idols who were doing a professional career internationally with kantale. So that was my dream many, many years. And then I reached it and then I love touring and I have been done, uh, yeah, touring a lot. But then, like what now? They are players in Baltic countries, Estonia, there's Kannel, then there's uh, Kuakle and Kankles in the Baltic area, and then there's Gusli in Russia. So it's almost the same instrument, but of course every country has a different version. And then actually Finnish Kantele, there are players in Japan, in US, I have heard in Spain, I know there's a, a Sinica Langeland in Norway, there are some in Sweden. I'm searching always the sound that touches me. I don't know what is it. When the sound goes under my skin, then I know that this is something special. D, E, F sharp, G and A. And the fingering goes like this. If you want to have G major, then you need to cover the strings you don't want to hear. So it goes like this. Now it's G major. You know this dance like this. <laughs> so you can find the relaxed hand with this movement. So it just rolls this kind of the circle. And then I go with my middle finger down here and then I use my ring finger here. And 
then I move just and maybe one up. I hope you can find a lot of interesting things to do and watch the videos. Good luck! <laughs>